We're staying on this breaking news we've been following this morning after Berkeley County deputy was shot shortly after midnight. Now that shooting had happened near Red Bank Road in Goose Creek. There is also now a second scene with a heavy police presence in North Charleston off of Durant Avenue. And we are being told that there is a standoff situation. We have live team coverage of both areas in North Charleston and Berkeley. But first we're going to go to our Kyle Jordan. He's in North Charleston with the latest going on out there. Kyle. Well, while investigators will continue that uh, um, that situation there in Goose Creek, uh, investigating the shooting, now all of a sudden we've got a situation here in North Charleston uh, that has been developing for the last uh, probably five and a half hours now. They were able to uh, locate the suspect they believe that was involved in that shooting in Goose Creek here in North Charleston. We're on Durant Avenue just off of Rivers Avenue, right next to the Save-A-Lot stores, and I move out of the way, and you can see we've got a number of different law enforcement vehicles and different agents season is uh, as we push in down here you can see that they are blocking off uh, both si both ends of uh, Durant Avenue here uh, just next to the flats at Mixon the apartments there for those folks who uh, are living in that area and a lot of folks living in the Park Circle area that have uh, seen the law enforcement out here they've been out here all night and this is what it is all about we do believe uh, that they have the suspect uh, that is holed up in a house on Bexley Street which is actually just off of Durant Avenue about the area where they have uh, uh, this road blocked off. Uh, if we can Again, this is the secondary scene, which has now become the primary scene, but we want to go to Aaron Maven. He's live in Goose Creek this morning where this entire situation began late last night. And we're live on Harbor Lake Drive this morning where uh, investigators have just wrapped up the scene. Now, the caution tape just being pulled away minutes ago, except for that one piece of strand just a few feet away from us right now. There are about a dozen vehicles on scene right now, but not really compared to when it was at its height, about 20 police vehicles were on scene. Now, I spoke with many officers on scene just minutes ago. They are very worried about, worried about that female deputy. They tell me that she is one of the kindest deputies in the force. She always has a smile on her face. They say she is very hardworking. Now her name has not yet been released, but we're still... All right, we are con continuing to follow breaking news for you this morning, where a Berkeley County Sheriff's deputy was shot just after midnight, and now that situation has moved over to North Charleston, the Park Circle area, where authorities say the suspect in that shooting is now holed up in a house. They say he is bleeding and in we have team coverage for you this morning. Uh, we have Kyle Jordan. He is live in North Charleston right now. Kyle? Uh, yeah, we've got uh, Spencer Pryor, who is with the North Charleston uh, Police right now, and uh, we're just uh, waiting to get more information. Uh, you just uh, came up here. Everybody's clearing out. What can you tell us? Well, if everybody's ready, uh, what I can tell you is that the um, situation has ended. Um, our SWAT team, along with uh, members of SLED SWAT team, were able to make entry into the um, residence, and um, when they made entry in, they found the suspect deceased uh, with what appears to be uh, from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. How, how long ago did that happen? Uh, we probably within the last 20 minutes, uh, 20, 30 minutes or so, is when they uh, began to make entry into the residence. And again, as I said, um, ended with finding the suspect deceased. Well, we start with breaking news on the Berkeley County deputy who was shot and wounded overnight. In the last few minutes, the suspect who shot and killed himself, according to police, after shooting a Berkeley County deputy has now been identified. The coroner says this man is 36-year-old Travis Smith of North Charleston. Police say he shot and killed himself after shooting a Berkeley County deputy. Sheriff Dwayne Lewis will hold a news conference outside Trident Hospital in North Charleston. That's where the wounded woman deputy is right now. Her name, Corporal Kimber Gist. She's being treated, and it appears she will recover. Let's go now to that news conference by Sheriff Dwayne Lewis in Berkeley County. Trident Hospital, I have with me the... Uh, physicians and surgeons and staff here at Trident. Uh, they have worked very, very hard to um, stabilize uh, Deputy Gist. They've done an amazing job. I cannot thank them enough for what they have done. Uh, Kimber's family is here. I've spent uh, the, the afternoon with them. They are a strong family, and Deputy Gist is a very strong uh, woman.